You can see the president's speech here on WBRZ at 7. Other Republican lawmakers from Louisiana are also addressing their concerns with the plan. Congressman Bill Cassidy from Baton Rouge joins us now live. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Now, you've gone on record as saying the health care bill isn't real reform. Cost is an issue. Can the president say anything tonight to sway your opinion? He did say he's open to new ideas. Well, a couple things. Uh, the American people have spoken. The question is, has the president heard? Clearly, the American people are concerned about cost. So if the president tonight doesn't just give a new speech, but has a new policy, a policy that achieves the goals of reform without oh, inevitably raising the cost for everybody, then yes, he'll persuade me. If it's kind of more of the same, though, then it's more of the same. Now, the president did say he wants something done this year. What could we be looking at? Uh, that's up to him. Uh, clearly, he has a, par a problem with his, within his own party because at town hall meetings across the country, both Democrat and Republican congressmen and women heard from the American people that they want something different. Now, the reports up here are that many uh, moderate Democrats, if you will, the right of the left, as I call them, are opposing the bill. They are not for it. That's because they've heard from the American people. The president has to address our concerns as Americans. If he comes back with something that achieves the goal of, of, of reform without driving cost out the roof, then we can go forward. If not, we're, st we're right where we started. You've talked to several people here in Louisiana, several town hall meetings. A lot of people uh, are, are talking about this health care reform. Um, what, uh, what will it take to push this forward? Well, the American people have clearly said that they don't want government intervening in their life as this bill before Congress would have it do. And they're also concerned about cost, the trillion dollar price tags over the next 10 years with trillion dollars uh, every 10 years thereafter. So if you come back and you do something which is less government-centered, less government in your life, more patient-centered, the patient is in control, then from experience we know that you can achieve both. You can lower cost. By lowering cost, you increase access to high-quality care without expanding the reach of government into our life. If the president comes out and signals a willingness to embrace that, the American people, I believe, from what I've heard in my town hall meetings, will embrace his proposal. If he tries something slick, a little rhetoric, a little this, a little that, the tired old, then the American people are going to reject it. And again, we've got to start again. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about that. Um, is it realistic? Is it possible? Oh, I hope so. Uh, because again, I keep on going back to this, but in town hall meetings across the country, the American people spoke. Now, we represent them. The question is, have we heard? Now, if we've heard, then we're going to go back and reform health care along the lines of, again, not government-centered, but patient-centered, and still achieving the goals of health, form, uh, health reform, but paying attention to cost. If, we, if we've heard the American people, then I'm optimistic. But if folks just want to pretend they don't exist, that their voice is to be ignored, then we're not going to have gone forward at all. Thank you very much, Congressman Bill Cassidy, live here on News 2 at 4. Again, you can see the president's speech here on WBRZ at 7. Thank you. Coming up here on News 2 at 4, several.